Yo gang and welcome to your very first lesson in using CSS variables. Alright then, so I decided to do a mini series about CSS variables because I definitely think they can come in handy when you're working with large websites with huge repetitive style sheets. For example, if you are coding a large website and you've got this huge style sheet, there may be many values that you use over and over and over in your style sheet, such as certain colors or font sizes or margin values. So for example, in this case, we've got three different rules, but there may be 20 different rules in your case using the same color for their fonts. Now that's fine, but if you ever come to update that color, if you want to change the look of your website, then you're going to have to change every single instance that this color occurs in your style sheet. And that might be in 20 to 30 different rules. Now, it would make much more sense, I think in my opinion, to just have one variable which stores that value, this code right here. And then we say in each of these selectors, we want to use that variable. So if we ever want to change the look of our website and we want to change that value, we don't have to change it in every single one of these different selectors. We just change it once where we declared the variable and then that updates each one of these because they're all saying we want to use that variable for this value. So that makes much more sense. Now, I guess you could use SAS or less to use variables and accomplish this too but not every single development stack that you will work on will be using these technologies. And besides, when you use CSS variables, unlike SAS and less, there's no transpiling needed from SAS into CSS, which is one less task for you to do. And of course, CSS variables can do more than just store simple values as well, things that SAS and less can't do, and we'll find out exactly what those things are later on. Now, CSS variables are also known as custom properties, and you'll probably see that if you read the W3C specification on them. And that's because when we're making variables in CSS, we are in fact making custom CSS properties. And they look like regular CSS properties would, but with a double dash before them. So something like this, double dash, my property, and then the value. So that looks like a regular CSS property, except it has this double dash in front of it. But they're one and the same thing. A CSS variable is just a custom property. It's just that more people talk about this in terms of CSS variables, and that's what I'll be using as we go forward. But I wanted you to know, just in case you came across custom properties mentioned in the future, that they are one and the same thing. CSS variables are custom properties. So then throughout this series, we'll be working on a little one page demo site that I've already made. And this is a seriously simple website. And by the way, I would suggest that you know HTML and CSS before you go forward with this course. That's kind of a given, but I just wanted to make sure that you have an understanding of those two things first of all. So anyway, dead simple HTML with a nav, um, some main content, some different content spots, and a bit of content in the footer as well. So that and this are already included in the course files. I'll show you where they are in a minute. What we're gonna be doing is working on CSS variables at the top over here. But at the minute, this site looks something like this. So very, very simple. And the course files can be found on my GitHub repository called CSS Variables. I'm gonna leave the link right down below and you can choose whichever lesson you want from the branch drop down here. So for example, if you wanna see the code for lesson two, select that branch and you'll see the code right here, okay? So you can use those if you wanna follow along with me if you like. And by the way, I'm using Atom for my text editor. You can find that at atom.io, I'll leave the link down below. So finally, when it comes to browser support, at the time of this recording, CSS variables are quite widely supported with all major browsers having no issues. All major browsers, of course, except Internet Explorer, as usual. However, Edge is supported. So anyway, there's your introduction to CSS variables. Now, please, my friends, if you do enjoy these videos, do not forget to share, subscribe, and like. That really means a lot to me, and I'm going to see you in the very next video.